Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server on your Windows machine. So let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just type SQL Server. And here you can see it is showing the official website that is Microsoft.com. You can just click on this SQL Server download link. And now it has redirected me to SQL Server download page. And here we are having different downloads available. Just scroll below. And here you can see we have uh, free special edition downloads available. Developer as well as Express. So we will be installing Express uh, which is again a free edition. So just click on this download button. Okay, here you can see it has downloaded my exe file. So now this download is done. Let's install this. So just click on this exe file. Let me minimize my browser. And here you can see it is showing me SQL Server 2019 Express Edition. And it is showing me select the installation type. Three type it is showing me basic custom and download media. I'm going to select basic. Okay. So just select this basic. Okay. On this page we have to accept the license and agreement. So just click on this accept button. And now it has taken me to this page. It is showing the installation location of SQL Server. So it will go in C colon program files Microsoft SQL Server. If you wish to change, you can click on this browse button and just change. Okay, so now I don't want to change. I'm keeping default. So I will be clicking on this install button. It is downloading installation packages. After downloading packages, it will install it. So we have to wait for a while. Okay, so you can see it is showing me download successful. So now it will start installing it. So we have to again wait for a while. Okay, so guys, you can see my installation is also completed. It is showing me it has completed successfully. And here it is showing me different information. So first information is connection string. So it is showing me instance name and its connection string. Second is what log file. So whenever you create database, a log file is created. So this is showing me the folder of log file. And next we have installation media folder. And lastly, we have installation resources folder so these are the folders location which has been shown over here now to verify the installation you can just click on this connect now button and if you see something like this that mean your installation is successful okay okay now I am going to minimize this so now I will be installing SSMS that is SQL server management studio so that is a studio means a, a tool using that you can write a query you can connect to your database you can create a database everything you can do at one place so for that you need to click on this install ssms button so now it's showing you how you want to open so it is going to open on your browser so now you can see it has taken me to again microsoft website download sql server management studio and here you can see it is showing me free download SSMS 18 also it is showing me SSMS 19 so let's download SSMS 19 so for that I have to click on this link download SSMS 19 so it has taken me to this page SSMS 19 preview page and here you can see we have an option download SQL Server Management Studio 19 okay so now I will be clicking on this link for downloading my management studio okay my download is started now we have to wait for it fine guys my download is done now I will be clicking on this to start my installation I'll just minimize this and here it's showing me SQL Server Management Studio. So I need to just click on this install button. Okay, so it will install in again a C colon program files. If you want to change, you can change it. So I don't want to change. I'm just clicking on install button. Okay, here it's showing me progress of my installation. So again, it will take time. So we have to wait. 
ओके सो गाइस यू कैन सी इट्स शोइंग मी माय सेटअप इज कंप्लीटेड सो माय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एसक्यूएल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो दैट इज एस एस एम एस इज इंस्टॉल ऑन माय पीसी सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट दिस ओके सो लेट मी क्लोज एवरीथिंग आई क्लोज दिस एसक्यूएल सी एम डी एज वेल एज दैट इंस्टॉलेशन पार्ट नाउ इन सर्च यू कैन टाइप एसक्यूएल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो और यू कैन टाइप एस एस एम एस बोथ विल वर्क सो नाउ आई हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड माई एस क्यूएल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो एंड नाउ हियर माई स्टूडियो हैज बिन स्टार्टेड एंड हियर इट्स शोइंग मी वेरियस डिटेल्स शोइंग मी सर्वर टाइप सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट डेटा बेस इंजिन सर्वर नेम सो दिस इज अ नेम हैज बिन गिवेन बाइल इंस्टॉलेशन एंड ऑथेंटिकेशन टाइप आई एम टेकिंग एज विंडोज ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड नाउ वी हैव टू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस कनेक्ट बटन here you can see it's showing me green color that mean it has been connected to your server and now here it's showing me several folders available here you can see it's showing me database folder so just expand this here it's showing me system database as well as database snapshot so i will be showing you database through wizard as well as through query also so these are my already available database master model ms db temdb so if you want to try you can try with temdb also i am creating my own database so just right click on databases and select new database and here you need to provide your database name so i am providing database name as test1 and you can see now what it is doing it is creating my log file also so just click on this okay button to create your database okay guys so you can see my database has been created test1 i'll just expand this here it is showing me various folder so there is a table folder i am going to just uh, right click on this and select new table and now here i can provide column name and its data type so let me quickly create one table i am going to create a student table with two column roll number of type integer and again another column student name which will be of type varchar so s name i am taking the data type as n varchar 50 and now just click on this cross button so it will ask you to save uh, this table so i am just clicking on yes so it is asking me table name so provide the table name i am just providing table name as student and here i am going to click on okay button so now i'll just refresh this table and i will be able to see my tables okay so just right click on table and select the option refresh okay so here i am just refreshing my table yeah so you can see my table has been created it is showing me dbo student and now here what you can do you can just see the columns of that table or you can just right click and click on design then also it will show you design of your table now let me insert few records to this table so just select and click on edit top 200 rows and it will open and here you can insert your record so quickly i am inserting one simple record so here one and sunita and just press tab and again i am inserting one more record two and cs corner and again press tab okay so your uh, record insertion is done so this was what everything through wizard now you can use even query also so here i am just selecting all the rows so it's showing me my uh, data in my table so now what i can do i can create a query okay i'll just increase size over here so i'm just selecting size as 200 so that it's visible to you and now i'm going to close this and i will do what i will just write a query so for that i will do what i will click on this new query button okay and here you can write whatever query you want and this query will be executed on your test database so i'm writing select star from student semicolon and now let's execute this so just select and click on this execute button and here you can see it's showing you your result so you can write query here also if you wish to change this query you can change just click on this cross button it will ask you name just provide a name and it will save your query with the extension later on you can open this query 
ओके सो आई होप गाइस यू एंजॉयड वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड यू आर एबल टू सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल योर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एस क्यूएल सर्वर Uh, and guys if really my video has help you please hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will surely try to reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care